didn't uh, really see it coming and kind of cut me in the neck, but uh, I'm fine. Uh, how does it feel? I mean, obviously, five. You start off the season great, five, you know, five and zero. Oh, a little bit of a losing, five and five losses in a row. The team maybe not scoring for you a little bit. It feels good to get off the snide tonight. Yeah, for sure. But those are things that happen in the season. You know, you're gonna win a couple in a row, lose a couple in a row, and it's just about sticking with it. I don't think I was uh, necessarily playing bad. I think I was doing a lot of good things, just like the team was. And um, puck just wasn't going in on our side, and they seemed the other team seemed to have a couple uh, bounces going their way. But uh, you know, eventually uh, it turns out our way, and I think it's just a matter of uh, keep working hard and try to get better uh, every games. It was difficult for you on a night like tonight. I mean, your team really controlled the action. You didn't see, you know, pucks for stretches of the time. Is that difficult for you? Uh, I think for any goalies, it's hard when you don't see a lot of action and. Uh, you know, sometimes they spend time in the zone, but they don't really shoot the puck. So it's kind of, uh, it can get frustrating. But I think uh, I was patient in there and I let things come to me. And um, that way it makes uh, my saves a little bit easier. And uh, But that's a good sign. That means we're, we're pressuring them and we're playing well. So um, it's all credit to uh, the guys in front of me. Uh, I think we just kept pressuring them. I think sometimes we kind of uh, let go of the gas pedal a little bit and take a bad penalty at a bad time. And uh, I don't think we, we did that today. I think we were consistent in our work and we were uh, working hard from the, uh, the moment the puck dropped on the ice. And um, yeah, I think it was a really positive uh, game today. How, uh, I'm sorry. How, uh, how, how important is it to uh, kind of keep the momentum going in the second period? I know that's. Uh, yeah, well, obviously they're you know they're not a bad team. I think we were just working harder than them a little bit, and uh, I think we kind of knew they would kind of come with a push either in the second or the third. And um, I think uh, we were just more intense than them tonight. I think that's what uh, makes us successful when we move our feet and uh, we're disciplined. I think we're hard to beat. Um, can you repeat that? Sorry. Although what you guys did tonight worked, you won. Are you going to tweak anything for Friday's game? To make um, I think it, it's too early. I don't know. I, I just played the game. So I think we just have to see a video and see uh, what we did well and what we didn't do so good. But uh, overall, I think we, I think they had, what, 20-something shots. So that means we did really uh, good things in our zone. And uh, that means we spent more time in their zone. So uh, I think we just have to look at the video. But I think there's going to be a lot more positive than negative. Talk a little bit about your relationship with Glass because you, know, you both guys have some experience. Sometimes in the AHL, there's a young guy and an older guy. What's your what's your guys' relationship like uh, off the ice? Well, he brings a lot of experience. Obviously, uh, you know he's a guy that's been around for a long time, and uh, just his attitude off the ice, the way he prepares himself. Um, uh, that's the reason why he can play at the level he is, and he's always been a good goalie in this league. So. Um, I think it's something, having a young locker room, I think it's something that the younger guys look up to. And uh, like I said, just the way he prepares himself uh, every, every day is uh, something to take note for, for myself and uh, other, other young guys because uh, it's going to bring us a long way.